YouTube, it's Hawk here, bringing you guys, oh my god, it's a video, it's been like a month, it's getting going on a month, I think it's been like 20 days since I've actually uploaded a video, and I really do apologize for the wait, you guys, I've just been waiting for internet at my house, you guys have no idea what kind of pain I've been through in the past three months, like I've been either no internet, or crap internet, and whenever I mean crap internet, I'm talking like one meg down, 0.1 megs up, like there's like no internet, like my phone can't even use the Wi-Fi. It was horrific. And and then coming over to this house, you know, I've been here for the past three weeks, almost a month, waiting for all the roommates to move in with no internet the whole time. Like I think I've watched, I didn't watch any Netflix, so of course I had to go to Redbox and rent movies every single day just to keep myself entertained. And I've, I I watched so many movies over the past couple of weeks, it's horrible. But now I'm back to streaming and uploading YouTube videos, and I'm back on a regular schedule, which is nice. And I got three roommates that support me, really awesome people. They love playing video games too. I'm sure you guys will end up seeing them in one of my videos or in one of my streams. They're, they're really cool. But let's go ahead and go to the gameplay here. Now, I am playing on Second Assault. Metro 2014. First off, the name, they could have been way more original with it, but no, it's Metro 2014. <laughs> now, Metro, the map itself, I think they did an okay job on it, and it looks a lot nicer. They added a few different things that I don't like, though, like this water here in the Metro. You can't res someone if someone falls in it, which I think is a, it's, it's a plus because you're able to push up easier, but it's a minus because if you're getting pushed back, you're screwed. So it's a, it's a win-loss right there. And then there's other things in the Metro where I, I'm just like staring at it, and I think they went kind of a little bit too far with the Levolution. Like, don't get me wrong, Levolution was a cool idea in Battlefield 4 whenever I first heard about it, but now seeing it in all the maps, I'm just like, this is really stupid in most of these maps and completely pointless like with with metro and all the stuff that falls like it's a cool idea but it's it's not worth it in my opinion and that's just how i see it especially for a game where you know you can't even ptfo and some of you guys are gonna be like yes you can ptfo in battlefield 4 and i'm like no no you can't this game is made for trolls at this point and i am coming to the point where i am sensing that don't get me wrong i still try my heart out whenever i'm playing but you can literally see like the worst player in front of you and he will still outplay you every single time. Like I could be a rival X Factor and still get outplayed by some two year old kid that that's not even running around. He's just moving the mouse and he'll still outplay me somehow. Like I don't even know how. Like the dog will take over the freaking mouse and outplay me. I <laughs> This game makes me angry sometimes and in other days I, I love it. Like this gameplay that you're seeing in the background is nothing special. In fact, it was at the end of my night, at the end of one of my streams, I decided that I was, I was just going to record once I'm done, and I don't know what it was, I just couldn't play that well. I, I, don't, I think I went barely positive by the end of this game. And then the very, very next game that you're actually going to see that's coming up here in a second is Golf of Omen, oh, Omen, Omen, with a jet. And, okay, I have so many rants about the jets and Golf of Omen. First off, the jets. They ruin jet, jets for me in this game because it locks the camera to the tail end. I can still fly it, but it's so hard to judge where I'm flying. It, it's so it's so confusing. I, I don't even understand it. And then you look at this map, Gulf of Omen. Gulf of Omen was an okay choice until they put the freaking sandstorm in the map. Like, I'm okay with the whole map and everything, but once a sandstorm comes in, it's freaking dust field 4. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Like, there's just so much dust everywhere that I literally have no idea where I'm flying. Like, you'll see it here in just a minute where I'm going to start flying, and then you see the dust come in, and I'm blind. Like, I don't see a thing. And I remember chasing a jet in the sandstorm, and I chased him for nearly three minutes because he even stalled out in the in the storm because he didn't even know where he was and he's stalling out and I'm trying to follow him with my minimap I'm not even looking at the screen I'm just looking at my minimap trying to follow the dude through the dust storm because I could not see him on my screen it was really bad and and it ticked me off and it's the stupidest evolution in my opinion in any of these maps and then I look at the other two maps like Firestorm and Caspian Caspian was a good choice Firestorm was not an amazing choice in my opinion. Both of them are more conquest maps than Rush, and you guys know me as a Rush player, so of course that's how I rate my maps, but I don't think they should have been brought back. Caspian was okay. I'll, I'll do Metro and Caspian. 
as my two picks. And then for the other two picks, I would have picked something between Cyan Crossing, Domavon Peak, and Grand Bazaar. They had to have brought back one of those three maps, and I was actually kind of mad that they didn't, especially because not only were those three of my favorite maps, but I think they were three of the most evenly balanced maps from Battlefield 3. And look at this sandstorm. You can't see a thing in this jet. I had no idea where I was. I was like, oh, that's the ground? Holy crap. Okay, let me fly this way. And then I fly past the helicopter, and I'm trying to shoot him for freaking five minutes, and I couldn't find him because you can't spot anything in the sandstorm, apparently. Like, when you're on the ground, it's okay, but when you're in the sky and anything in the sandstorm, you were S-O-L. Like, this is me following the jet. You'll see me following him on the mini-map, and I have no freaking clue where this dude is. Like, I barely see him half the time. But what do you guys think they should have brought back? Do you guys agree with me on the Cyan Crossing, Domavon Peak, and Grand Bazaar? Or do you think the choices that they brought back were actually good choices? I don't think so, but maybe some of you guys have different opinions. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys would leave a like and a comment, of course, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, don't forget to check out my stream. I stream every single day, you guys. Um, you can come say hi to me. I'm very, very active with the chat. But anyways, guys, I will see you out on the battlefield. Peace out, guys, and have a good day.